Hello, my dear children. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel, Sensei Lanka Online School. So now we are in Geography English Medium Grade 8 Lesson Series. So in this lesson series, up to now I have discussed Unit Number 1 and several topics related to Unit Number 1. So now... Can you all remember what is unit number one in grade eight geography syllabus? Yes, it is the solar system. The solar system. So I have introduced you what is solar system and then about the planets. We learn about the inner planets. We learned about the outer planets. And also we learned dwarf planets also. And then natural satellites. It was my last topic. So today also, I'm here with another topic related to unit number one. So let's go to our lesson. Unit number one, solar system. Our lesson today is part nine. Rock particles and debris in the solar system. So my dear children, can you remember at the beginning of our lesson series, I explained to you the components of our solar system. The sun is there in the middle. There are eight regular planets. Dwarf planets are there. Natural satellites are there. And then meteoroids, asteroids, comets are there. So in that lesson, I explained you about rock particles and debris. If you can't remember it, please go to my earlier lessons at the beginning. And also, don't forget to subscribe me. Then you can get my future lessons and the notifications also. Then there will be a nice flow for you. You can learn all the topics related to unit number one. So anyway, no problem. Today I am uh, going to discuss about rock particles and debris in our solar system. So I will explain everything, each and everything A to Z. So don't worry about the earlier lessons. So now, what do we mean by rock particles and debris in our solar system? What do we mean by them? Now look at the picture on my screen. Can you see a picture? It is just like a rock. See, if you have uh, seen the real rocks, this is also a little bit similar to that. Look at the surface of the rock. Yes. So what do we mean by rock particles and debris? What are the things that we are going to discuss here? Asteroids. Comets. Meteoroids. These are the three things that we are going to discuss today. Asteroids, comets, and then meteoroids. These are the three subtopics we are going to learn. So now the first one, asteroids. What are these asteroids? Do you have any idea? Look at this picture. Look at the picture. If you look at the picture carefully, you can understand. It is also just like a rock. So, it is sure asteroid also is a rock, a kind of a rock. And then, do you like to learn some more about it? Asteroids are usually considered as Fragments of rock left over when forming the solar system. That is a definition for asteroids. 
asteroids are usually considered as fragments of rock left over when forming the solar system. They are formed with hard rocks. They are formed with very hard rocks. And they are of different shapes and sizes. There are thousands of asteroids in our solar system. Are they similar in the size? Are they similar in the shape? No. They are different in the size. They are different in the shape. But remember, all the asteroids are made up of rock. Not, or not just rock. They are made up of very hard rock. Now come to third point. More than millions of asteroids. More than millions. See the number. It's a very big number. More than millions of asteroids can be found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. What is the speciality there? Between Mars and Jupiter, what is there? I explained that in my earlier lessons. Can you remember the asteroid belt? It is located between Mars and Jupiter. So in the asteroid belt, there are millions of asteroids. And then out of the asteroid belt also, there are asteroids. Okay. Now here you can see another fact about asteroids. Look at the pictures also. Asteroids are small rocky objects that orbit the sun. Ah, it's a new information for you. Asteroids are rock particles but they are also going around the sun. Then although asteroids orbit the sun like planets, they are much smaller than planets. They are very smaller than the planets. Most of them are located in the main asteroid belt. Main asteroid belt means the one located between Mars and Jupiter. So these are some information for you. Actually it is just like a definition about asteroids. If we think about the exam, you have to recall these definitions again and again. You have to study the definitions again and again. That's your duty as a student. So if you like, you can take a screenshot of this definition. If you like, you can pause the video for a while and write it down on a, a paper or a book. That is the way of learning. Okay. Then meteoroids. Look at the names. Names are a little bit similar. They go together. Asteroids, meteoroids. Are they similar? No, they are not similar. Is there any relationship between them? Yes, there is a relationship between asteroids and meteoroids. Do you like to learn that? Yes. Look at this picture. Then you will understand. Asteroid. Look at the thing in the middle. Asteroid. I'm circling it. Rocky body smaller than a planet that orbits the sun. That is a definition for asteroid. Then come to this one. Meteoroid. Rocky or metallic fragment of an asteroid. So my dear children, you have to understand asteroid is the bigger one. Then meteoroid is a part of an asteroid. If this part is separated and move here, we call it meteorite. 
Then there is another word, meteorite. What is that? When the meteoroid reaches our Earth's ground, we call them meteorite. Yes. So that is enough about meteoroids. I will go to the next slide now. Meteoroids. Look at this picture. Asteroid is the bigger one. Then a separated piece of asteroid is called meteoroid. When it is separated, we call meteoroid. When it is uh, moving towards the earth, we say meteors. When it reaches the ground of the earth, we say meteorite. Meteoroid, meteors and meteorite. Okay. So remember these things. And now we are moving to another one. What is the difference between asteroids and meteoroids? What is the difference? Asteroids are large piece of rock in the space. It is a very large piece of rock. Then meteoroids. <clears throat> broken piece of asteroid and comets. It is a broken piece, so it is a smaller. Asteroids orbit in the asteroid belt. And meteoroids are smaller in size. Asteroids are made up of rock and metals. Meteoroids also made up of rock and metals. These are the similarities and the differences between asteroids and meteoroids. Then we are coming to our last topic today. Today this video is a very small video for you. Because we are discussing only about the rock particles and debris today. So now the last one comets. It is just like a star. Because there we can see a light when it is moving. Just like a tail. Can you see the tail in this picture? It is light ball. It is a light ball with the tail. This is the light ball and this is the tail. See how beautiful. Let's learn about it. Comets. What are the comets? An icy space object. It is just like an ice ball. Icy space object. Comets are cosmic snowballs of frozen gases, rock and dust that orbit the sun. Comets are cosmic snowballs of frozen gases, rock and dust that orbit the sun. When frozen, they are the size of a small town. They are not a small. When we look at the sky, we can see the comet sometime. We uh, see it as a beautiful but a small object. But in real, they are not a small. They are very big. When a comet's orbit brings it close to the sun, it heats up. <laughs> That is why we are seeing a light. It heats up and spews dust and gases into a giant glowing head larger than most planets. That is how it gets this beautiful tail. When it reaches the sun, it heats. When it heats, that dust and gases become a giant glowing Ball with the head, larger head. So these are the comets. Then do you know very famous comets are there? They have given names. 
There are very famous comets. Halley's Comet is a very famous comet. Halley was last seen in Earth's skies in 1986. In this year, this comet named Halley, or some people say it Halley, Halley's Comet or Halley's Comet. In 1986, it will return in 2061 on its regular 76-year journey around the sun. So we can see this comet, this beautiful, attractive comet in every 76 years. Once in 76 years. Last seen in 1986. So it will come in 2061 again. So these are information about asteroids, meteoroids and then comets. Today I did this lesson with some pictures for you to understand. Some notes were there, some pictures were there. So now I think you understand the topic very well. If you want to clarify anything, you can uh, send me a WhatsApp message. My WhatsApp number is there on the screen now. You can send me a text message asking you a problem. Related to this lesson. If not, you can follow me on Facebook. My Facebook page is Sensei Lanka Online School. There also you can chat with me. You can ask me the questions. You can send me the comments. Negative or positive, any comment. So that is enough for today's lesson. I will come to meet you soon with another lesson. Thank you very much. Bye for now.